So today we're going to be teaching. you guys how to manipulate men into falling in love with you we've watched a lot of movies we just had to bring something out from True. it so the first thing you need to try she said movies huh? she said movies she said she watched a lot of movies we've watched a lot of movies we just had movies. to bring something out from True. it so the first this is gonna be a good ass video. No, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be a good video. Movies, what? romanticizing. Yes, yes, it does. Fake shit. Need to be banned, so bro. So you know this right here is gonna be legit. Yeah. They, this is gonna be legit. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna be manipulated by any of this video. Come on, play it, bro. I wanna get manipulated. The first thing you need to try is what I like to call early morning text. So basically, this thing, yeah, you wake up very early in the morning, like <laughs> six or seven and especially if you are a late riser like me and then yeah where is she from did they just find phones no oh, they can please fit it because she's about to say something that most men hate but go ahead go, go play. <laughs> sandy hi good morning text then you go back to bed put your phone on silence you wake up your normal time 9 10. so the reason why you're doing this is It's just so that you seem like a busy person that has her life figured out. Oh, yes. so, <laughs> <laughs> guys like women that have their life all figured out and are really nigga. <laughs> Absolutely not, nigga. Why don't you just why don't you just get up? You already up. Start your day. You went back to sleep, you lonely fucking bored fuck. What the hell? When you got up the text. And then went back to sleep instead of actually getting up and doing it. That's like when niggas like, it's like you taking a shit and then going to the sink and running the water and not actually washing your hands. Yeah. Like you're there Pretending. already. Like you're already there. You don't have to pretend that you're washing your hands. Just put your fucking hands under the water and go get some soap and then cut it off. Like you're there already. Also, nah, just weird. let you know, people that actually are busy can tell when you're not really busy. Yes. You're not tricking me. Yeah. You're not tricking me. And not only that, if when we get in a relationship, I'm gonna know that. Like, oh man, like girl, when we were talking, you was getting on at six. It's, it's, it's 10 30. You still sleep. What's going on right now? When you start sending texts and then taking time to respond, he feels like, oh, she's really busy. And this is definitely going to keep him more interested in you. What the fuck are they doing? Oh, X bar. See, your your boyfriend or whoever you're dating, they don't need to know that your ex was trash. Tell them the best times that you and your ex have has had, like the dates, the trips, you to know, Dubai, Dubai. You don't say that part. Oh my god! No. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, no, this no, is no, a, no, this no, is a no, no, crazy video. You know, how do we find this? No. <laughs> what the hell is going? <laughs> if, if he chops off your Ooh. limbs and his free. Ooh. 
I'm going to tell you right now, if you try to gas that nigga up, I'm going to be like, hey, you should go back to dating that nigga then. God damn. I, I never let, bro, you're with me right now. Oh, Do shit. not tell me about the times you had with somebody else or go back to those times. I was going to say, nigga, if you gassing is... that nigga up, I guess you need to go date him. Yeah. Fuck, nigga, I need to go date him. Shit, Dubai? You take me out. Too. <laughs> you want to go to Dubai? Yeah, I need to go to Dubai. You go, man. Yeah, that nigga, oh, that nigga must no, be doing something right. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You her ex? No. So, like, oh, he took me to Dubai. I'm going to be like, hey, you going to be taking... To Alpharetta. <laughs> I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you to Roswell. I'm gonna take you on the, take you on the south side, nigga. And we can go right back up the street. <laughs> he gonna take you to Clayco. I'm gonna take you to. My... <laughs> show you. Keep I'll show everything you around to yourself. Town. Tell them the good part. How are your ex? Fine. We did this. We did that. Cause men, they love to outdo. Like. They love to outdo everything, so just you know, make him do it. This That's tip it. is really, really important. It's the don't sleep with them yet tip. So, if you just meet somebody, <laughs> <laughs> so when you just meet somebody, you know, when you meet a very cute guy, you know, he's giving you the vibes, giving you the ginger, making you feel things, hold yourself, my sister. Don't sleep with guys, don't like easy girls. I don't ask any guy what? this entire. Is the the girl beside her is like Nick, we do not follow that advice. Yeah, that's, what are you talking about? You saying this is really important? Somebody, you know, when you meet a very cute guy, you know, he's giving you the vibes, giving you the ginger, making you feel things. Hold yourself, my sister. Don't sleep with guys. Don't like easy girls. I don't ask any guy. What? To be is the the girl beside her is like Nick, we do not follow that advice. Yeah, that's, what are you talking about? You saying this is really important. This is actually at the bottom of the list. I'm gonna do a bunch of other things before I get him. to that point. Isn't it the opposite? If you slept with him and it was fire, now nah, he's obsessed. He's obsessed. With you. He's yeah. like, I'm gonna get some of that ASAP, nigga. Yeah, you just you probably so, as a man, the worst thing that you could ever do is make him wait and he gets it and that and shit whack. Mid. That shit oh mid. My yo, if you got mid box, yo, if you make a nigga wait and he oh, smashes that should be a crime. That nigga will never text you back. You ain't gotta worry about him responding to your early morning text. That nigga, that nigga you ain't gotta worry about Tristan to buy none of that shit. That nigga ain't never gonna respond. If that box is mid and you made him wait, ah, oh, nah, nigga, that's tough. And they will tell you they don't like a girl that is cheap. The next point I'm gonna make is break their habits. See, so not see, don't be doing wifey things when you're a girlfriend. Don't be doing wifey things for just boyfriend. He's not your husband. You go there, go and cook, clean, wash his clothes. How will you even be washing a man's clothes? And you like to wash. You know, <laughs> wash bathroom. Ah, let's wash bathroom. Cook, cook for him and his friends. Everybody. That comes to the house, that kind of thing. Uh, Don't Conrad, they literally have the stereotypic Af like African accent. They do. Yeah, they sound just like KSI when he's trying to sound African. <laughs> also, um, um, how is this manipulating a man at this point? How, what is? How is this not doing wifely duties? How is that manipulating a man? That's not manipulating me. Great question, man. If anything, that would that would turn me off, especially if you were expecting hus husbandly duties. So if we go out and I'm paying for everything, or you stay and you're staying at the crib, or you spend the night at the crib and you ain't gotta pay for nothing, either the next morning when you go to go get something to eat, or if you just if you live with me and you gotta pay for nothing, and you're not giving me no no wifely duties, but I'm doing all the husbandly duties, then that's not that's not going that's not manipulating me to do nothing. Like what what am I being manipulated to do? You're just now just saying giving horrible advice. That's not manipulating. It's actually. That's what I was thinking. Like they're actually giving bad advice. They're giving ridiculously bad advice. This, but it's great though. Oh yeah, but if anyone dumb logic, enough to take it, yeah, 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 you deserve yeah. that outcome. Their, their logic is 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 hilarious too. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie. This right here is fucking blowing my mind. The stain, so. yeah. Oh my stain, god, bro. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to say bro, nothing. It's blowing my I mind. I didn't want to say nothing, but you're in your bedroom. Get another dress. Do that. See, you are wasting your time. Whoever is gonna be with you. Is going to be with you. Give them a standard that you want them to see you for. I don't know if I'm putting that in the right way, but basically, if they like you already and you're already in the relationship, you don't want them to like you because you can wash plates and you can cook, cook. Because that's what you are now going to be doing in the relationship. So set like standards and set. Do they bar. really even like you because you can cook and clean and People do just it. like you for you, basically. They don't like, they don't care. If About... a guy really likes you, he doesn't care if you can cook, if you can do anything. This. What? Wait. A guy does not care if you can do anything. You what? You don't have anything to do? That makes no. Yeah, again, I don't know where, where's the manipulation at, but. 
I'm I'm severely confused. Like it is the crazy. guy, the guys want to eventually expect something in the relationship that you do. The fact that you believe you just go into the relationship and you're just you, and I, that's enough to just get by because that nigga ain't gonna say nothing. It's crazy. If both of you guys just decided to be yourselves and do nothing, <laughs> no one would have jobs, responsibilities. Yeah. You definitely can't have no family because you guys are too busy being you. He can't love you for being a good mother, same way you can't love him for being a good father. Y'all just you. You when, don't want to do anything. When people say this. Well, especially younger folks, and I say that, you know, our birthday just passed. I'm a little older now. You know, I'm getting a little How old are you? Damn! People say stuff like this, I know they're inexperienced, especially the younger people out there. Because they say things as if, like, I know you've never been in a real relationship. I know, for a fact. Because if you've been in a real relationship, a, a long-lasting relationship, not the thing that y'all were going back and forth on for, like, a three or four-month span. If y'all were in an actual relationship, you know for a fact there's responsibilities and duties that come along with just being in a relationship. Facts. And it's not necessarily that <clears throat> it's something, like, you're you're putting on your shoulders to, like, carry the other person. Actually, it's the opposite. You you have strengths and weaknesses, and the same with your partner. And you all help each other in, the, on, on, in both of those aspects. And the things that you pick up aren't so strenuous that it kills whatever you got going on. And the same thing with the other person. So y'all should be helping each other connectively. Not, I'm just sitting there, I just exist, and I'm just, it's just me. Like, no, that's not how that works. You gotta love me for me. Yeah, you just love me for me. Like, of course, that's what's going to occur. But in, in any type of relationship you have with anybody, there's responsibilities that come along with it. Why people think that doesn't exist when it comes to men and women in relationships, I don't know. But again, I have no idea what this has to do with manipulating men this is like my favorite rule it's the most fun to do so it's called having fun with yourself when a guy sees a girl with makeup the next thing he has in his head the next idea he has in his head is that she's going out he gets so you might not necessarily be going out but you could wait till like 7 p.m 8 p.m in the night and just beat your face <laughs> Take a picture, put on your Snapchat, or anywhere that you have him on. If this guy likes you, he's going to notice that you did makeup and he's going to ask you that, um, hey, where, where are you going to looking so pretty and all of that. If he doesn't ask you, then probably do it the next day and do it just You're a few more again? times. If he doesn't ask you, then just oh forget about it. If he doesn't like you, he doesn't care. care. Wow, she's experienced it. Yes, yes. Care, care, care. Oh God! Y'all doing this three or four times to just get a response? Look, bro, nigga. All right, I'll just I'll let the cow out the bag, nigga. If you have to manipulate somebody to determine if you like them or not, that means that they really don't fucking like you. Like that doesn't make any sense. Like how how can you sit here and say in a video they just like you for you? If that's the case, then why the fuck are you manipulating them? What what sense does it make? If you have to manipulate something to occur, that means that it wasn't going to occur to begin with. So then the only way that you'll be able to keep that up that thing going is if you keep manipulating it over and over and over again. So similar to like the whole text. Thing. If if you got if the guy believes that you are busy and you're actively doing something, the only way you're gonna be able to keep him is if you actually start doing something. So what's the point of you manipulating him? If that's who you are, then let it be. That's just who you are. Manipulating people is crazy, man. Who are you guys dealing with? They are this dumb <laughs> that you could just manipulate him doing like generic dumb shit. We said we're going to give each other on by secret on, honestly. I'm I'm just happy that people like me. <laughs> <laughs> so I am going to be talking about Valentine's Day pandemic because basically this Valentine, I don't know, there's this love love spirit that comes with it and I feel like it really affects people a lot because personally I have been there, I have been a victim of this Valentine pressure or more, it wasn't really funny and actually made some mistakes in past Valentine's so I'm going to definitely be what is she saying? She said she's a victim of the Valentine's pressure and she made some mistakes. What does that mean? Like, why? I don't, I don't... Probably scroll through your phone, go to Instagram, go to TikTok or whatever, and see videos of people that have gone out and also want to pressure you. You're not going to get pressured if you see this day as just another day. Another step into mm. achieving that is being <laughs> your own secret admirer. You must have seen what? funny videos on Instagram or TikTok or whatever where people just like make a food tray and then they put it on their bed here and then they just turn and they turn and like Oh my god No nigga no You're lonely as fuck No You're lonely How the fuck you make a video about manipulating niggas and you can't manipulate a Valentine's Day date nigga What the 
the fuck? No, you Nigga, need you're help. You're so lonely that you're making your own fruit trays and acting like you're oh, waking up. Oh, how did up, that get there? And it's sending that out to the world so everybody else can be miserable. <laughs> That's actually so Off sad. Off of your lie? That yeah. is so sad. You're literally doing that literally just for validation from other people, knowing that after you get done recording that shit, you're lonely as fuck, dog. And instead of just becoming a better person, yes. so that, she, that doesn't even cross her mind. She would do everything but. She'd rather make herself breakfast in bed. Like, and then record it. herself waking up like, oh, man. Then Myra put that there. Like, nigga, come on, dog. Are those all my favorite snacks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I, I, I find those videos really cute. I'm so into self-love. So when I see videos like that, I just smile and I'm like, go girl, you get it. Or they, maybe they put something on their doorstep and then they open them like, oh my God, a gift and then carry it in. Like those things are really cute. You could try something like that for Valentine's Day. Or you could actually order something for yourself. You could get a shoe, that weave that you have been postponing. Get it for yourself for Valentine's Day and see if you're not going to feel very special. Make yourself feel special. No order way. Laugh, 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 no. Laugh, 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 laugh. Stop laughing. Stop. You know, you know the level of fucking delusion you would have to be <laughs> to buy the present, wrap the present, and then put it outside and act surprised like, oh my God. And then open it up and, and get it and say, I just feel good about myself that I got this gift on Valentine's like, Day. Think about how psychopathic yes, that you is. Got, you have to be outrageous. Nigga, just better yourself. Fuck. <laughs> Can't do it. You for manipulating to buy yourself. Jeez, she's manipulating I'm herself. Gonna say I'm <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what she's doing. Another thing I recommend is making plans with somebody for Valentine's. If you have a friend that you know is going to be single for Valentine's Day, you guys can reach out to each other. You could go have dinner, you could go see a movie, you could basically do anything together just so that you feel like you have companionship that day. If that's going to take away the edge of everybody that wants to oppress us on the internet that day, definitely I recommend. No you way, go nigga. What? You are not being oppressed. You're not only not being oppressed, but you're doing it as well by faking a fucking relationship that you're in by giving yourself fruit and veg fruit, vegetables and presents and then recording it and then putting it on Snapchat and IG. You participate Not in that. that. You are a manipulator. You are yeah, the oppressor. Yeah, yeah, facts. And then you made a video about manipulating niggas. Now all of a sudden you're oppressed because you're fucking single on this day. Nah, nigga, That's you're weird. Oppression? I ain't gonna lie, you're weird. No cat, you're weird. She, she don't know what that word means at <laughs> all. To oppress somebody? Mind you, she's also opening up IG to get she's oppressed. She's participating okay. in the oppression. No, but she's opening up, nigga. Like, it's time for me to be impressed today. And just start scrolling through IG like, man, I'm getting oppressed. I'm getting the fuck out of this. <laughs> my, time, my timeline is oppressing the fuck out of me. Oh, that's a good oppression. <laughs> Oh, he he oppressed he oppressed me right. Let me like that right there. Matter of fact, let me leave a comment. God damn, those those two dozen roses really got me oppressed today. Nigga, turn off the phone. Nigga, oh, go get a life. Nigga, go get your job together. Go start your business. You know what's so sad? Nigga, go work out. Do something. You go better yourself. The sad part is, is she's go actually sad because. It's not even that she's sad by herself in a vacuum. She's just sad that other people have what she don't have. Yes, that's what she's sad at. But instead of taking their advice, <laughs> she's just like, no. No. Nah. I'm being oppressed by the people that are actually in positive relationships. Yeah. And they're happy. Yeah, and they're it's Valentine's. I'm so oppressed by them. And the last thing I tried to manipulate, he didn't last this long. So now I'm single. You have to pay before the day so that they can get you ready and then send it to the person. So I think about 3, 3 p.m. that day. He had already gotten his gift. But me, I wasn't on the mainland at that time. I was on the island at my cousin's place. I was waiting for my gift though. Ah, I waited, it was like 6 p.m. I'd not seen anything. And I called my friend, my good friend. I said, hey, what's up? I haven't gotten any stuff. And he was like, oh, that I'm on the island. Now when I come to the mainland, I'm like, this actually defeats the whole purpose of this thing. We say we're going to gift each other on Valentine's day. If it come, if it's coming after Valentine's Day, it's as good as useless because the whole point was to get it on Valentine's bro, Day. Bro, no, 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 nigga, no. She, okay, I can't, bro. She, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. You just want to feel special on that one day. That's all it is. You're telling me it has to be on that specific day for a fake relate. You're not, you're not in a real relationship. It's not real, dog. It's not real. You just want to feel good on that specific day. 
You're not really dating that nigga. It's not real. The the nah, length she's willing she's to no. go to. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's so impressive. No, 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 no. If you had the same ambition. To be ambition, mad at the nigga who giving you the. A nigga not really supposed to give you a gift. <laughs> but the nigga's going to give you a gift on the next day. And you upset about that. No, it's because she, she already gave him a gift, though. I get I get what she's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's still dumb. It don't matter. She's dumb. You're dumb. You're weird and dumb. Oh, Valentine's Day craziness. You could go Crazy. to the spa. You could organize a family dinner. Cook something really different this time around. I'm just trying to <laughs> let you know that you could basically do anything on Valentine's Day. You could get your teeth whitened. You could get braces. What? You what could. The bro, fuck she... are you? Just better yourself. Why the fuck are you doing everything but bro, improving? But she wants to do anything to make herself feel get good. Get braces? This you could get braces instead of fucking improving. Bro, oh my imagine, god. Imagine you can get braces on any day, but you wait on Valentine's Day because you know you're about to be <laughs> single and you're just sitting there treating yourself. Treat myself on V Day with my new braces. Like, come on, dog. <laughs> You just want to feel special. That's sad. No, that really that's that's is. the problem. Yeah. FYI, that's the problem. The okay. fact that you deem it necessary for you to feel special on a day that actually that's like that's like me, a Christian, is like I have to do something on Kwanzaa. Like I have to. <laughs> like I just have to. I see I everybody to. celebrating and oh, I don't like it. And they just oppressing me with all the fucking gifts that they're opening up on Kwanzaa. <laughs> and I gotta do something, dog. <laughs> that's like me on mother on Mother's Day. Like, mom, bro, you fucking cheesing me about this dinner that I have to pay for. I'm not <laughs> getting nothing so after this i'm taking myself out fuck it i don't care mom don't call me because i'm treating myself tonight that's what that's like it's not it's not for you the day is not for you it's for other